In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best spacing style concepts in Madden. This is going to be coming out of the Y off trips pads or the U trips formation in the New England Patriots playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on the Patriots playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We've got trips tied in stuff in there. We've got bunch stuff as well as, of course, a whole ebook devoted uh, to teaching you trips. This is one of my favorite offenses. It's been one of my favorite offenses since Madden 13, um, and it just continues to be one of the best offenses every single year for spacing, uh, for the ability to utilize motion snapping. There's a lot that you can do um, with this with this uh, formation. That being said, uh, the player we're going to take a look at today is Stutter Curl Seam out of the YF Trips Pats, and this is a really good route combination for uh, basically a attacking uh, horizontally across the field. So how are we going to set up the play? What we're going to do is we're going to utilize this tight end cross. This is our main route that um, is going to be fairly consistent against main coverage. We're going to take our solo or our solo wide receiver here, Eric Berry. And there's a couple things we can do. We can run a table route to the running back and a hitch, or we can run a flat to Eric Berry and a ghost route to the running back, or we could also run a streak to the running back. Kind of just depends a little bit on uh, what you want to do. Uh, but this is all of these are options. If you don't have the table route option, go ahead and do an out route. So these are all different variations to get us to the same basic concept, which is a two man game on that side of the field. And then on the right side, we have this kind of unique curl route. You can leave that if you want to. I like to just put a hitch route. So basically, this is what the play art is going to look like. Um, and this is going to do a really good job of attacking pretty much any defense our opponent's going to run. If they run man coverage, you're throwing the crosser. Um, you're almost always going to want to try to throw that crossing route. Now, if they're running a lot of man coverage and you still want to run this concept, uh, I really recommend uh, having a little bit more of a man-to-man -man coverage beater, which all it means is we're going to take – this uh this running back out route and leave it and you'll see here that i can freeform that to the outside a lot of times that will beat man coverage now another thing that's good about the running back out route is a very popular adjustment against formations like u trips is basically this right here this is known as the scissor adjustment and then essentially they're going to use the tight end and they're going to send five right so you're going to have to get the ball quickly the beauty of this against the scissor adjustment is that a lot of times this out route, just because of the way the game moves, will beat man coverage. So you can attack with that out route if you know you need to. So that's another option. Um, another option as well with this is if they are running, you know, a lot of man coverage or they're running a lot of scissor adjustment, and you still want to run this play. One of the things that I would also advise is well, two things. Um, one of them is to put this concept on the right. So we have essentially uh, a flat and a dig. And then we have this uh, deep, deep streak here. You could also turn this into a corner. You could motion him out and put him on a deep post. Any of that stuff is fine. Um, but the beauty of this is, again, you see, see how this just cooks the scissor adjustment. And that's the idea of the running back out route. So if they are running a lot of man, that's something to kind of keep in, in the back of your mind uh, if you're wanting to run uh, this offense. And then the other thing that I want to quickly point out is, let's say let's say that they, this route to Cromartie, if you freeform down, like right when he turns, you see how he kind of does that little stutter? That's the idea of the stutter curl seam um, or the stutter hitch. So again, a hitch route, uh, he's going to run a little bit more precise. But I will say that if you wait on him to actually turn around here, let me see if I can get this right there. You see how he does that little stutter and then he separates? He does get man-to-man -man separation. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. But another thing real quick is he also needs to get the man-to-man -man separation in amount of time that we can actually throw in the ball. So you'll see right here, like, I can throw a hitch like that, and they still have to shade down to be able to play that. Um, the way you want to throw hitches against man coverage, especially off man coverage, is you want to free form it down, uh, basically in a way, uh, so down into the outside shoulder um, or where the shoulder of the open space is. In that example, now if you get press man to man, it's a little bit more difficult. So, like in this example, you'll see this is press man. And on that right side, you can still kind of do the same thing, but I will say it's just a little bit more of a tender throw. What you want to be throwing against man-to-man -man is you want to be throwing this little dig route right here or this little five-yard in that will consistently, as I say, of course I say that I throw the pick, um, that typically will consistently beat man coverage on the outside. So 
and again, if you ever get that bad pass animation, a lot of times it's just because um, you know you maybe threw it a little bit too early. See there, I wait just a little bit, a little bit longer, and now I get a little bit more space. So that's the idea. Now, the beauty of this play in terms of how it attacks is really what it can do for you against zone. And so, um, depending on the zone that they're running, it's so like for example, cover three. It's where I really like to utilize this ghost route. Um, and this hitch flat concept over here. So what you'll see is basically the hard flat has to go to guard the flat. You can throw this route to the running back. Now, another thing you can do in U-trips that is uh, actually, I think, very, very effective, um, even against man coverage, is the ability that you have to really isolate the running back route. So we can run a wheel route as well. It's still gonna get in that seam area of the field. The beauty of this wheel route is against man, we can free form and high point up and over, as you can see right there, and give ourselves a chance um, to be able to threaten uh, deep down the field against man coverage. Another one of the benefits of utilizing this wheel route is if they do run zone, that will clear out a third or of a quarter, any kind of deep blue zone on that side, that will help clear that out as well. So let me give you an example. I'm gonna jump into like a cover three concept. So uh, what you'll see here, so this is cover three. And again, this is just utilizing a running back wheel and he'll go right, he'll be open right there, of course. But then the other thing you see is he kind of distracts or um, attacks that deep, def that deep third defender over there. So the beauty of this is now really to effectively stop this concept, you need a shaded down cover two, but then you also have to have this guy manned up and you also have to use this guy. So there's just a lot of adjusting that they have to do if they want to try to defend this play. Um, and it's just so good for attacking. You know, you can also play maker this hitch across the middle late in the play. And as you can see, this just does a really good job of attacking zone. Now, it also does a really good job of attacking any kind of zone pressure. So one of the best ways that people like to send pressure would be something like this. So some kind of send five with the user in the middle of the field. So the user is going to have to choose. Typically, he'll almost always choose the tight end crosser. Um, so if that happens, then guess what? I can just throw that little dump down route over to the hitch. And so this is how U-Trips is so effective at just attacking the space uh, that the defense gives you. And again, you can utilize this little ghost route here. We know the crosser is pretty good at attacking man coverage, especially because a lot of times it's going to get isolated on a linebacker. And most of the time they're not going to have medium route knockout on their linebackers. So U-Trips, really, really fun formation. If you want to get my entire ebook on this offense, Head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It'll get you access to everything, including our entire uh, New England Patriots offensive ebook.